Hi folks. What we got going on here is synthetic gas production. I've taken the carburetor off of the generator. No more fuel line or anything. What we're going to do is stick that down inside of there. See if it won't start up for a while. Well, you can hear it firing up a little bit. Okay, what this might be is now I gotta adjust this air fuel mixture here to the point where it's just right. Okay, it doesn't like that as much as it did because the first one. Well, you can see, I'm almost there. It's just getting that air fuel ratio just right. Another thing I may be doing is that the gas production may not be at high enough rate to keep the engine running. We're going to try it out a few more times. And there we go. That is a generator running completely on synthetic gas. I've been at this for a little while this morning to get it right. I had it running like this a little bit ago. I knew I could get it again. So there you go. That right now is pure synthetic gas. And you can tell as this generator gets going, it's starting to run a little bit stronger. I'm slowly moving my finger with a little air gap around the hose I just stuck down in there in my finger. And I'm using my finger right now as a kind of a valve to allow more oxygen in. You can tell I can shut it down a bit if I seal it off. That's electricity. One more step to turn in the wood stove here into the ultimate energy independent system ever built. And right now, that's a generator creating electricity. That's a 4,000 watt uh, industrial grade generator. So obviously, it can run a smaller system a lot better. That's exciting. That's really exciting to know that right now, that's free energy. I don't have to pay the gas company. I don't have to pay anybody for this. You know, it's uh, some wood off my own property. And right now, that could be power in my house. So I'm gonna go ahead and sit here and let this run. I've gotta put some more wood in the wood stove to allow the temperature to stay hot enough for my thin gas production. I'm getting my airflow mixture a little bit better here. You can tell the generator's running a little better. Now that's awesome, is it not? And just to show you here, Let's kill the generator and we'll pull the hose out. We'll show you that that's what's running it. There you go. You can tell it's going to take just a second for that synthetic gas to start coming back out of the hose. To me, that's awesome. That's one step closer to having a fully independent system that runs on wood. Let's see if we can get it to start back up again. Ha! Look at that! Alright, so now I'm going to make some adjustments. I'm going to finish the mounts. 
I'm going to make an adjustable airflow, obviously. And I'll be able to, when this wood stove system is fully designed and built, the wood stove will be in my house. This will be outside, running, powering my home, anytime the wood stove's up and running. I thought you'd enjoy this as another step in the bio crude oil super efficiency wood stove design system. You can tell I'm a little dirty. I've been working on this all morning, but most science is a little dirty. All right, I'm going to go ahead and pull the hose again. That is incredible. Uh, just to show you if I got one on me here, how flammable that synthetic gas really is. There you go. It's right on fire right there. It's an invisible gas uh, flame. I mean, that flame's almost dead clear. Very clean fuel we're producing. We'll put that out again. One more time, see if we can fire this thing up. One pull. You can't beat that. I don't have that. Any gasoline, nothing. I can pull it one time and it fires up my generator. So just a little bit of work. I'll turn the camera back on when the refrigerator. Hold on. I'll turn the camera back on and take another film when I've hooked the refrigeration system and everything else into this. You'll have the crude oil refinery coming through the wood stove and that'll be producing butane and propane just about like this, like you saw in the refinery film. That flame's going to run the refrigeration unit. So that'll run off into your propane powered refrigerator. That smoke's going to run your generator. The wood stove will heat your house and your hot water and produce crude oil, refine it into gasoline for your car. Until next time, I hope you enjoyed. This was Mr. Tesslonian and the Tesslonian Man Show. On your way out here, we'll just fire it up and let you go out with that. Oh. There we go. Hope you have a great day.